you know, I love a lot of your work, but I'm, I'm wondering if you could, we can just dive in and, and start with what you really hope people take away from this next season. Hmm. I, there's a couple things. I think that I would like to hopefully normalize um, being messy and not having your life figured out, um, especially for women. I think there's this idea that women are failures if you don't, have the husband or the wife or the child and the house and the career by a certain age and what i'm realizing from my life and then just my friends lives it's all kind of bs like none of that is actually like like played out the way that we were told as children and so in season two they're still figuring it out and then they're still like making mistakes and having mishaps and ultimately i want people to just love them regardless and know that it's okay to not have everything figured out and that we're all ultimately trying to find our own happiness and, and that's kind of what the women are doing in season two is trying to find their own personal joy and it's a journey to getting there. I think people might be surprised that because we went out on a very interesting cliffhanger in season one and a lot of times I feel like people kind of when they pick back up don't pick up right at that point. They'll do like a time jump and skip over the messy part. And we're starting right where we left off and it's peak awkward and messy. It's, it was even awkward and messy for me as a writer to deal with because I in life like to avoid that stuff. But the reason why we did that was because we were trying to get to the uncomfortable and deal with the aftermath of you know, actions that were made at the end of season one that you can't undo.